Hey folks, it's Paul Codd here again from Wexford Royal Valley Honey. Uh, this is the second video of the of the other video where I just got this swarm just there from a, uh, from a very small swarm. They're in this box here at the moment. I'll show them in, to you in a second. So what I'm doing is I'm combining them because there's a small swarm in this box too in the brood box. So I have a piece of paper, newspaper between this box here where just the original swarm, what the original hive is. And this is a fresh super box with fresh frames in it. So I'm going to put this, these, the small swarm into here the new swarm into here and eventually they will eat their way through the um, paper and combine the two swarms to two to, to, um, bees together to make a, a decent size hive and the reason you have the paper there is because sometimes if you put them different uh, swarms of bees together they will fight and they will fight and attack each other so when they have like they will get used to each other and eventually they will eat their way through the paper and they will get used to each other and then there should be less um, less conflict between the two different colonies okay Now as you can see all the bees are in here, that's the small swarm, so they're all in here at the moment so I'm just going to knock them into this hive, this box here, I don't know if you can see but there's a mixture of buckfast and black bees in this swarm, I don't see the queen at the moment but I'd say she's there, there somewhere. Turn the box upside down and give it a quick hard tap and most of the bees will fall in, in, in theory anyway. That worked well, there's only a handful of bees here and I'll just leave the box, like, there's only a handful of bees left in the box and I'll leave the box here so they'll find their way in. And these bees, they seem okay, they're, they seem happy enough here because they're they're going downwards into the, into the frame so I'll just leave them there for a few minutes. I do have my queen catcher. If I if I spot the queen, I will catch her and mark her. There's a, a drone. That's not the queen. There's another drone. That's a drone bee. It'll be okay, I won't hurt them doing this. See, they're bigger and, but they can't sting you either. See, he's okay. Yeah. See, he flew away, he's fine. I'm just waiting to see, do I see the queen? I don't see her there. I think I'll just maybe put the top on and leave them sort themselves out. And I have the entrance to this new box. The entrance is here on this side. You probably can't see it on the camera, but the entrance is here. And on the old hive, the entrance is here, is here at the front, or the original, the original box. You can probably see now that the, this is where the original bees are and the original entrance. So I have the entrance to the new box on the far side so the bees don't get confused when they're getting used to each other.
Now I just want to put the lid on and let them work, work it out themselves and after that I don't see the queen there, I hope she's still there I presume that she is I see there's a little bit of a rebate here, a recess on the boat in the, so when I put this on I won't squash them And the bees are going in and out you probably can't see that very well on your side but i'll just show you the bees are going in and out the new at the new entrance that's the new entrance see And I leave that for about, um, I leave it for a week or so and see how they get on. Thank you very much.